Hey everybody, I'm Chef Barry Smith, and today we're making pasta and meatballs. Okay, so first and foremost, I did the pasta already. So what the pasta is, it's already pre-cooked and it's frozen. So as per the recipe, we are going to be heating it underneath hot water in a colander. At that point, shake off all excess water once it's soft. Put it into a container, spray it really well with pan spray, covered with plastic wrap, and put into your hot box for service. And it'll sit there till service. Make sure you spray it really well so none of the pasta sticks together. All right, so the next step is we should have thawed these meatballs overnight in the fridge. That'll make them nice and soft and quicker to, quicker to eat, or heat. <laughs> we will spray the inside of a hotel pan really, really well. This is a very small batch because we didn't want to make a whole batch just for this video. Spray very well, meatballs placed in there. At that point, we take our CDT marinara sauce. Now this is something you can make the day before. This is something you could have made a week before and had frozen. Make sure it's fully slacked though and ready to go into the pot. See how it's nice and loose, there's no frozen ice cubes in there, anything like that. At this point, we're gonna pour our marinara sauce over it. The amount is specked out in the recipe itself. Should be barely covering like that. At this point, you're gonna cover your hotel pan with parchment paper. Now the parchment paper keeps it from splattering too much and making your ovens really dirty. Following that, you're gonna pull out your aluminum foil. Cover with aluminum foil nice and tight. No air openings. It heats faster without air openings. All right, and then we're going into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until it is at temperature. All right, so see you in 30 minutes. All right, we're back and our timer is almost up for the meatballs and the marinara heating. So let's pull it out and take a look. See our parchment paper works and there's no splatter. So at this point, we're going to temp our meatballs and the sauce. All right, we are at 167, so we know we are safe. Take a spoon, mix it around a little bit. All right, and then it would go straight to your line from there. All right, so we're all prepared. We have our noodles done. They have been covered, put in our hot box, ready for service. They're now on our steam well. We have our meatballs and marinara fully heated, ready to rock, sitting in our steam well, ready to go. So for assembly, we're gonna show you on a tray here. What you're gonna want is the white scoop. Two and a half ounces of pasta, wait. So that would look just something like that right there. At that point, it is five meatballs, which I'll use a slotted spoon to pull those out. And then four ounces of sauce, which you can use the four ounce scoop that you got. The sauce goes all over it like so. And then if you'd like to, you can garnish. Now remember, just garnish with a little bit of Parmesan. So not much at all. There's your pasta and meatballs and marinara.